good morning. Are you all right? I don't know, see a smile on your faces, please. Are you doing well at your exams, quizzes? Why are you, what a pity. Okay, let me take over as the director of this institute and then I abolish examinations. I will say anyone who attends OAT regularly gets the BTEC certificate, right? Okay, you know, we have been talking about production of speech sounds and we saw how human beings are able to produce a variety of speech sounds and with those variety of speech sounds, a larger variety of words, a still larger variety of sentences, a still larger variety of discourses, poems, short stories, speeches, quarrels, friendships, love affairs, divorces, all that happens, happens through the combination of those speech sounds. We also saw how speech sounds are produced, classified, described, what terminology is there and now we will move into the second unit of the course which is called please write phonology or how speech sounds are put together, you know. So far we have been talking only about one speech sound at a time, correct? So, we have been talking about a, a pa, a ba, a ka, a ka, okay? but after this module, we will talk about how pa and a are put together, how ka and e are put together or how more than two sounds are put together, what grammar is there, does is just as there is a grammar of how words can come together, is there a grammar of how speech sounds can come together? Is there a rule that sound x comes before sound y or do they occur anyway, anywhere? We will look at some of these questions uh, in the next module. But before we step into that, it may be a good idea for us to review what we have done so far. And if you have not by chance, you see there is a lot of learning pressure on you. I, I realize, I understand and I appreciate that. You are doing a variety of courses including this and in suddenly one month somebody bombards you with 100 new terms. I am very sure you had never before heard words like uh, wheeler okay? or words like uh, and vocal cords or voiced sounds or voiceless sounds or you know plosive or affricate. Am I right? Am I right? So, it is a, it's a, it's a too much of a load on your memory in a limited period of time. That is partly the fault with our educational system, partly human beings survive. So, what I am trying to do is I am trying to help you understand what you have got all right easily and what is yet to be learnt properly. And therefore, this review, this test is not for grading, okay? but I expect you to participate wholeheartedly. If you make a mistake, tell me you have made a mistake. If you have done well, allow me to pat your back, verbally I mean, not physically, you know, my hand will break, <coughs> correct? Shall we start? Okay. So, I am going to present a screen with questions, look at the questions and write their answers. Is that okay? Just the answers, you do not have to write the questions. I am anyway going to mail these PPT slides to you. Okay. Let us see. Number 1, first write and then answer, then speak. Write one or two words. Say for example, why can dead people not speak? Why can the dead not speak? What is your answer? No air. No air. They have the vocal cords, no breath, please write, that is the correct answer. They have no breath, they have everything else. They have the teeth, they have the heart palate they have lips, they have alveolar ridge, 
they have everything except that air has gone out of their body, it can neither get in nor get out. So, dead people cannot speak. Okay. Number 2, what is ingressive air stream mechanism? Write and then quickly tell me somebody please, what is ingressive air stream mechanism? And if you cannot say just write D k, just write cannot say, D k is do not know, do not say do not know, say cannot say C s. What is ingressive air stream mechanism? The air that goes from outside into our mouth from which we produce speech sounds. There are very few speech sounds with that air stream such as, okay. any other example? No, that is whistling, <laughs> there you throw air out, but when you say you are sucking air in, when you say you can feel it, keep your hand here and click your tongue and you do not see any air, do not feel any air going out, air gets in. Okay. But there are very few sounds human languages use uh, with ingressive air stream mechanism. Let us go to the next, why do men, most men, not all men, not all women, but why do most men sound different from most women? Please write that word on your notebook and then answer me. I give you just 30 seconds. It is, it is you know fastest fingers first. Okay. Now tell me what is the answer. Please raise your hand so that my friends behind the camera can capture your lovely face. Okay. Raise your hand, does not matter if you make a mistake, how does it matter? There is no prize, there is no punishment. What is the answer? Why do men sound different from women? Because women have, give me the proper answer, because women have a shorter arytenoid cartilage. In the case of most women, it is how long? 18 millimeters long only, whereas in the case of most men, it is 21 millimeters long. Lovely, great. Okay. Why do adults sound different from children? The same reason, adults have a longer arytenoid cartilage and that changes their voice quality. They have bigger jaws, bigger tongue, you know, there are a lot of other reasons, right. Number 5, what are voiceless sounds? Write and then tell me. In the production of which, please write and tell me, quickly, you know. Just three or four words. In the production of which? Vocal cords do not vibrate. Okay? Or in the production of which vocal cords are wide open, there is no vibration. Number six, uh, now you have a good question. I am sure a lot of people here can answer it. When is formant frequency higher in the production of consonants? or in the production of vowels. Okay. Let me also check my answer, I am not too sure. Yeah. Consonants have higher fundamental frequency, check your answers. Okay. Give yourself marks if you answered correctly. So, anyone who got 6 on 6? Oh, 5 on 6, I also pat myself on the back. Okay. Anyone who got less than 2 on 6 or only 2 on 6, marvelous, so everybody here passes. Let us go to the next screen. Okay. What do you mean by tone in linguistics? What is tone? You know, a little more difficult question than that. Shall we pass? Come on, try somebody, please. What is tone? How frequency varies? Yeah, right. Variation in the frequency of what? Sound. 
variation in the frequency of the vibration of vocal cords that is tone or change in the frequency of the vibration of vocal cords is tone. I am going to give you these PPTs except when you are attempting an answer you do not have to write. Okay. We, you know when we define vowels we say question number 9 vowels must be oral, continuous and unobstructed. Un that is what we said continuous. Voiced. 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 Not voiceless. Vowels must be oral, continuous and voiced. Voiced. Okay. Next. Is there a language which has a round front vowels? Where E is produced with rounded lips? Yes, there is one. There are, there are not more than one. There is French and there are other languages. Among the better, you know, uh, more widely known languages, French has in French the word for in, in French the word for T W E two is du sorry, is 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 du, you know, with flat lips. Okay. Uh, they also have similarly front round vowels. They have, you, you might remember vowel trapezium, we showed you some red symbols. Those red symbols are exception, look them up. I am going to ask you again at the examination, at the quiz. All this will also form portion of your quiz uh, before the end of this month. Right. What is vowel trapezium? We have been talking about vowel trapezium. What does it mean? What is it? It is an imaginary area. It is an imaginary area in the oral passage through from which different vowel sounds are produced. Okay. Uh, don't, many people do not seem to have got it right. How many cardinal vowels are there? the vowels at the extreme points. If you remember vowel trapezium, you will remember extreme points and you can quickly say. How many are there? Many people say 8, but there can be more, right. How many cardinal vowels are rounded? 3, yes. Lovely. What are those? O, U, and O, or O, 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 and O. Okay. What is a diphthong? Can you write quickly? I'll give you thirty seconds, and then you can possibly answer better and compare your answer once you write. What is a diphthong? Compare your answers. Okay. How many people got seven on seven? 6 on 7, please do not uh, capture it on the camera, ignore it, <laughs> okay. sorry, 4 on 7, thank you, God bless you, at least 3 on 7, okay, so you pass somehow, please pay attention to this area, you have the slides and you have the book, okay, come to the third set. What are centering diphthongs? Think in now, you know, I will give you 40 seconds for each question. What are centering diphthongs? You can write and then answer. You might make mistakes, but it does not matter, you know, please try. You know, you can say centering diphthongs are those vowel sounds where the tongue moves from 
this position to the next position. So, fill in those blanks from and to. What are centering the thongs? The answer is there in the question. Okay. Right. What is the answer? Moves towards the center. Moves towards the center. Center in the center of the vowel trapezium. That is centering diphthong. So, you know fronting diphthong is where the final movement is towards the front of the mouth. Closing diphthong where the final movement is towards the closed position in the mouth. Backing diphthong where the final movement is towards the back of the mouth etcetera. You know you can you, you, you can say that. Right. <coughs> consonants differ by consonants from one another differ by voice whether they are voiced or voiceless by place of articulation and manner of articulation. Lovely. Please write. What are semi vowels? Please write. What are semi vowels? They are produced like vowels, but, but I told you yesterday. Okay, right. I will check. Y is mm. It is not n. What is it? That sound. Question number nineteen. Mm. Why is that not a vowel sound? Nasal. It's nasal. It's not oral. Okay. Otherwise, it is voiced, it is continuous. There is no obstruction in the nasal passage, but it is nasal and therefore, it is not a vowel sound. All right. What is a fricative sound? Write the answer, please. Fricative sound is that sound which is produced. Now, complete the sentence. which is produced yeah, with partial, partial obstruction through audible friction that sort of thing. What is an affricate sound? Okay, who can answer it? Total, Total obstruction, obstruction but gradual. Yeah, that, that speech sound which is produced with Total obstruction, but gradual release. Okay. Compare your answer and give yourself ticks and crosses. How many people got 7 on 7, 6 on 7, 1, 2, 5 on 7. Let us continue and you know I, I want you to do this exercise back home, back in your room again before some of these appear at the quiz. Please write definitions. What is a plosive sound? Write it on your notebook. Please write. Number 22, what is a plosive sound? Number 23, using three term level, describe as in home, English word. Okay. Number 24, using relevant three term level, describe a as in a way. Number 25, 
you can look into one another's notebook after you have written, okay? not before. First, write your own definition. You know, this is a self-test, self-appraisal. I am, I, I am getting you to see how much of the course has already seeped into you. Number 25, using relevant three term level, describe A as in a way. It is a diphthong, it will take two descriptions, have those descriptions from x to y position. Okay. Number 26, what is an active articulator? Write the definition. An active articulator is that organ of articulation which, now complete the sentence. You can also say an active articulator and then complete the sentence. Number 27, you can say yes or no. Is upper, you know, are upper or lower teeth, is tooth an active articulator? No. Yes or no? No, no, no. How many no's? Raise your hand, please capture them. Okay, right. You know, this is the kind of picture I would like to show the world. You see, my students give always correct answers. Other pictures I will delete. I will ask them to please cut out those seconds from the recording. <coughs> Number 28, to utter what kind of sound is uvula lowered? Nasals, please write. Okay. Check your answers. Once again, see if you got all the seven right. Particularly check the three term levels. Okay. In a certain sense, it, it, you know, it is a very good test of your understanding of the phonetic processes. give yourself, you know, take or cross your answers. Okay. Who got 7 on 7 this time? 6 on 7. Okay, thank you. Lovely. 5 on 7, 4 on 7, okay. <clears throat> I won't ask, I embarrass you more than that please. <coughs> please answer. What is the state of vocal cords when we whisper into the ears of others? Okay. What is the state of vocal cords when we whisper? There are, you know, either vocal cords can be either wide open or tight shut or loosely together. What is the position of the vocal cords? Please write. Number 30, are nasal sounds voiced or voiceless? Write your answer.
थर्ड वन वॉट काइंड ऑफ स्पेच साउंड प्रोड्यूस्ड वेन यू वुला इज रेज प्लीज राइट वेन यू वुला इज रेज थर्टी टू वॉट आर द टू मेजर क्लासेज ऑफ साउंड विच ऑल ऑफ स्पेच साउंड विच ऑल लैंग्वेजेस ऑफ द वर्ल्ड और हैव वॉट आर द टू मेजर classes of speech sounds what are the two major classes of speech sounds which all languages of the world have okay next are all back vowels rounded yes or no no some are also unrounded 34 can women produce all vowel sounds yes, yes or no yes yes, yes obviously 35 can children produce all consonant sounds depends very young children take time but uh, you know once they cross in fancy they can produce all consonants and all vowel sounds but <coughs> infants take time check your answers Okay, this time it should have been easy. How many people got seven on seven? One, two, three, four. Not bad. Six. Okay, five. Okay, great. <coughs> okay, I am going to give you some test in transcription now. I am going to write some words in phonetic alphabet, and I want you to transcribe it into the common Roman orthography. Sorry. Ask me. So you don't have to write that. Yes. No language of the world has all possible sounds. Okay. So the question is, what kind of symbols do we use? And I. advised you to look up google say google ipa symbols and you will get a big chart that chart has possibly all symbols and diacritics what is a diacritic diacritic is the extra mark are you with me yes. everybody please diacritic is the extra mark which you use to indicate additional feature say for example in hindi you have to write k and r how do you write it in hindi you write it this way this is your symbol and this is the diacritic or in hindi you want to write ku how do you do this you write this is your symbol and this is your diacritic in telugu you can write this and what is this kra so this is the diacritic telugu also has caps shoes sticks you know indian writing systems we make fun of english uh, writing system but writing system everywhere has basically i am trying to get organize a lecture on writing systems by one of my colleagues in the department of biotechnology he has designed a script using which all indian languages can be written with greater efficiency so one day i am going to ask him to come and talk to us and i would like you to come for that lecture please so there is diacritic so what we do is say for example in indian languages we have ta tha da dha na now ta is produced with uh, you know tip of the tongue touching the back of the upper teeth okay this symbol how do we indicate that symbol so we say this and now we add a diacritic 
this is the as in my mother tongue the word is sorry what is this teen three in hindi also there is teen three in telugu there is ta ta okay so this is dental so you indicate it through diacritics so ipa chart international phonetic alphabet chart gives you symbols and gives you diacritics using which you can by and large describe all possible sounds in all possible languages have i answered you yes See, uh, all languages have only some sounds. Okay, no language has all the sounds. Say, for example, for Englishmen, this was a very difficult sound. No Englishman could in India pronounce. No, when I say no, I mean many. Many Englishmen could not produce the. Okay, so Tamil has some sounds which are unique to Tamil, but Tamil has don't doesn't have some other sounds. That doesn't matter. I told you yesterday that each language has only some sounds out of a possible box of sounds, out of a possible range of sounds. But to describe those sounds phonetically, we have the terminology and we have the tools. The tools are IPA symbols and the chart. Is that okay? Right? Shall we continue? Okay, I'm going to give you a test in. using because you know in the coming weeks you will have to use lots of uh, phonetic alphabet to describe any example i will say please use phonetic alphabet and when we come to phonology how do two speech sounds come together we will still need these symbols okay so please get them right right i am going to write words in phonetic alphabet you can write in roman alphabet and check whether you got uh, the symbols right <clears throat> please write you 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 just have to write the roman word i am giving you transcription okay and you can use roman alphabet latin you know the alphabet that we use to write the english language okay I'll give you exactly thirty seconds. Write it in Roman alphabet. Write it in Roman alphabet, please. whenever you use phonetic alphabet you should first use slanted bars by convention it means that you are now going to use phonetic alphabet it's not the letter of any particular script it is the symbol of international phonetic alphabet Okay, check whether you got it right or wrong. This is church. How many people got it right? Lovely, that's great. Church. This is judge. And this is theory. theory. 
Okay. Now, I am going to write words in Roman alphabet and I expect you to write it in phonetic alphabet. Shall we do that? Shall we do that? Okay, please. Okay, got it. Use phonetic, you know, use these slanted bars. Okay. Please check. Anyone who got them all correct? Okay, you got at least say 80 percent of these symbols right. Okay, one, okay, got at least 50 percent right. Okay, you need some practice. I am going to write a name. Tell me what you know, you, I, I, I want to see how you transcribe it. Okay, please. Okay, <laughs> then Ali Raman. Okay, I am going to give you a difficult name now. Okay. Everybody please write your own name in phonetic transcription now.
done. Okay, my my surname, my first name is Shreesh and my family name is Chaudhary. Write my family name in phonetic alphabet. The way I pronounced it, I Chaudhary. Okay. Check with mine. This is how I will write it. But you know there can be variations. Okay, final test last you know in one minute and then I am going to stop. I am going to write some words in phonetic symbol, do not pronounce it immediately, look at it, make up your mind and when I say please pronounce then pronounce that word anyone together or separately as you like. Okay. Here is the word. What is it? This is an English word. Road. 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 Oh, you see? Road. Okay. What is this? Got. 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 Good. This is got. Okay. What is this? Wait. Wait. This is a, as in cat, as in rat. rat. What is this? Four. 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 Come on. What is this? Fort. Fort. What is this? Fort. What is this? Toil. 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 Okay, I think I will stop here. Well, all I have tried to do is, you know, please do not believe, please do not have the impression that I have tried to tell you, you guys know nothing. You know, you know a lot already. These are the only few instances where you have made a mistake, but these are typical. Okay. I will at the quiz later this month ask you some of these things and I expect everybody to get full marks 10 on 10 or 20 on 20. If you have any doubts, any questions, please consult me, look up the book, have some practice and have a good day, nice weekend, right? Thank you.